Hi everyone, it is Reverend Dr. Katie. I hope you're doing great today. Um, I have a little bit of a new setup here, so I'm hoping this all works. Hoping you can all hear me, hoping there's no fuzziness, there's new internet, there's a new computer. I think we're good to go. Uh, let me know if there's any choppiness so I can know and fix it. So I am here to talk to you today about, actually about trauma and about when you're having tough times. Many of us tend to dismiss trauma in our lives. Um, I know that I have in my life. It wouldn't surprise me if any of you do too. And so we, we kind of compare our trauma or think, you know, things that have happened to us to other people. And then if it's not as bad as someone we know, we tend to dismiss it and think we don't need care. Um, does that resonate? Is that you? Has this ever been you in, in your life? If so, you know, you're in good company. But actually, that is um, a really great way to not enter into our full capacity, to not enter into our full ability to heal. God is God of healing. Um, Jesus Christ came to earth and demonstrated demonstrated um, such care and compassion for people and he facilitated opportunities for people to engage in their own healing. I'm going to say that again. Jesus facilitated opportunities for people to engage in their own healing. And that's really, really amazing. And that is extended to us. That did not stop in Jesus' earthly life and ministry. We still live by that today. And so what, what is trauma? Trauma can be, it can range from so many different things. And it can be um, someone having been verbally harsh with you when you were little. It can be from a teacher. It can be from a parent. It can be from a, a lover or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a spouse even. And it can be big and explosive or it can be small and like it may be that you're the only one in the world that knows what happened. Um, it can include physical trauma is also another kind of trauma. If you were, even if it's indirect, like you were in a car wreck or if you have been in altercations with people. Those are all sources of trauma. Um, other sources are living in constant uh, fear, living in constant stress, living under constant anxiety. Um, it doesn't, I, I don't want to say it doesn't matter what the source is, but to your brain, the source of the trauma may not be all that important. What is important is that you facilitate and create an environment where you can experience radical healing. Radical healing takes many, many different forms, and I encourage everyone to seek out every form that they can because we should not stop at anything short of living a full and abundant and beautiful life. Seek every opportunity you can to participate in your own healing so that you can do that. One really great way, really great way, like the number one tool that I have that I can give to you. The number one way to participate in your own healing um, from trauma, and it doesn't matter if that trauma is 40 years old and happened one time, or if it was yesterday. It, either way, if it is still present with you at all, then it's still present, and you deserve to have the space for healing about that. The number one way that I have that I can share with you is through meditation. And meditation is a beautiful way for Christians to engage. It's like another form of prayer. It's a way for us to engage in prayerful presence without all the chatter, without all the speaking, without all the requests. And there's nothing wrong with those. But meditation is a different way to enter into spaciousness and expansiveness and get a little bit of quiet in your life so that you can open up your body, open up your mind, open up your soul and let the Holy Spirit speak to you in a new way. So what I've done is create a meditation challenge, and you'll see the link at the bottom of the description. I'll put it in the comments too. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do that real quick. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll, it'll be in the, in the link for you later on. Um, to the challenge, you have to be part of the group, you have to be part of the Metaphysical Christian group in order to um, attend, but we'd love to have everyone. And so this is going to be a free five-day meditation challenge where you will really be invited into the art of meditation. We're not going to do this for hours every day. I'm going to challenge you to do one minute, two minutes, five minutes each day. And what this does is literally starts to rewire your brain with every breath with every second, with every millisecond that you engage in meditation, it's like your brain is saying, oh my gosh, thank you. It's literally breathing new life into your brain. 
trauma or any kind of negative experience creates grooves in our brains. It creates circuit ways. And then we get used to those circuit ways. And those circuit ways um, become patterns. And those patterns become habits. And you might find yourself that you're reliving these experiences all the time. That's because your brain has created gateways for you to be able to do that. One, one very simple, very effective way to counterbalance this is to meditate because meditation creates new pathways. So we're going to talk about the value of doing this as Christians. We're going to talk about um, the, the power of meditation to jumpstart your prayer life in new ways, the power of meditation to help you engage in God's spirit in brand new ways that you might not have engaged in before. So I know a lot of you are probably thinking, my mind is so busy, I don't know how to quiet it. That's why you need meditation. And so it's it's this kind of oxymoron, and I get it, because y'all, I, I promise your mind is not busier than mine. I have the worst monkey brain firing off in all directions, making lists, making plans, um, thinking thinking about all of you, thinking about my Facebook group, thinking about all the things I'm going to do next. You know, I mean, I'm planning morning, noon, and night, and that's just kind of the way I'm wired. The more your brain is like that, the more you need meditation. <laughs> the more meditation will help you. Because often we're thinking so much, and our mind is wandering in so many directions because we are um, anxious and we're trying to kind of put off just being still and being present to ourselves. Um, many of you might think, I don't have a quiet space to do this. Doesn't matter. You're just going to do it. You're going to make do with the, you're going to make the best that you have with what you've got. You're just going to do it. That's the way to do it. Um, if we sit around and wait for the perfect space, the perfect time, that will never appear. You create the perfectness exactly where you are. So we're going to arrive exactly where we are. Meditation actually helps us do that. It helps us let go of this need for perfection so that we can enter into this space and just move forward, move forward in your spiritual life. You'll be amazed over the course of five days what will arise for you. Meditation is also a little bit like um, eating healthy. So if I eat healthy today, I will notice some immediate benefits. I'll notice I might feel a little cleaner. I might feel a little hungrier. Um, you know, I, I might notice, I don't know, I might notice things don't taste as good as I really want them to, right? But um, I know that the benefits are actually down the road, that it's doing that day after day after day that will benefit me in the long run. Meditation is much the same way. The meditation you have on day one will be pretty different from the meditation you have on day five if you stick with it. But gosh, the meditation you have in six months from now will be even more different. So we are going to just experiment with this, have fun. No judgments will be allowed. You know, if I if we detect self-judgments, we'll ask you to gently release those because you don't need those in meditation. Meditation is just going to give you some information about where you are and help quiet your mind down. So y'all, I had a really busy day today. Uh, I woke up. The, do the dog was eager to get going, took the dog on a walk. My partner's out of town. Um, started the day. I had video editing I needed to do for a class that I'm teaching right now. You know, I had just many, many tasks. I needed to load the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher. You know, I know your days are just the same. Uh, I had the Comcast person come over. The dog was getting groomed. You know, it was endless appointments all day long. And so about an hour ago, I thought, oh my gosh, I've not had the adequate time I need today to sit down in prayerful meditation and silence and letting God speak to me. So it was, I just, I, and I happened to have the spaciousness right then to just sit down and do it. I set my timer for five minutes and just did it. And it was beautiful. I did it while my tea was steeping. That's a great way while you're making your coffee or your tea in the morning. I'm drinking mine a little late today. Uh, you can use that time for your meditative space. So don't worry. I'm going to lead all you through this. You're not going to be off on your own. I'm not going to say just go sit down. I'm going to walk you through what to do, give you an invitation. This is all by invitation and a little bit of a challenge. Uh, for those of you that say, I can't do it. Yeah, you can. Let's challenge Let's challenge you a little bit. Challenge yourselves just a little bit. You absolutely can. Um, this is a beautiful way to rewire your brain and this prepares your spirit for all the wonderful, for all the beauty that God has in store for you. Why wouldn't you create the environment where you can do that the best, the absolute best? And that's what we're after. We're after nothing less than transformation. I'm, I, I won't accept anything less for me. I hope you won't accept anything less for yourself. 
that's why we're here. That's why you're in this group. That's why you're doing this. All right. There's my dog alerting me. It must be time for another walk. So I'm going to go and end this. I hope you'll join the meditation challenge. Everything will take place in the Facebook group. I'll po uh, Starting on Saturday, October 19th, I'll post one video a day to invite you into the challenge, into the invitation. And you can do that whenever you want during the day. And you can report back right in the event. All right. He's really barking. I got to go. Uh, love you all very much. Happy meditating. If you've never meditated before, just sign up. You'll start on Saturday. It'll be uh, really fun, really illuminating. We're going to learn a lot about ourselves. See you all then. Bye.